What is your interest? I mean, you're an American. What is your interest in Gaza? My interest in Gaza is that I think Israel is uh, the major recipient of U.S. aid, including military aid, and I think without that uh, input, Israel would not be able to continue the uh, the occupation and the oppression and the settlements. Mm -hmm. And so, as an American citizen, I feel like it's my tax money that is uh, supporting the unjust and illegal campaign against the Palestinians by the Israelis. What do you expect will happen to the, to, because of your experience, what do you think will happen to the Zaytona and the Amal? I would like to say that I think that uh, Israel on this occasion will uh, realize that it's um, better for them to let the boats go through um, than to uh, look as bad as they look when they board the, board the boats and take very serious uh, nonviolent activists and put them in jail and deport them. I think it would look better for Israel if they allowed these boats to go through and all the boats and allow the Gazans to have access to the sea themselves and the air and their borders. I think, I think Israel is um, almost beyond, I don't even know what word I want to use, but they are, as I heard somebody say recently, Israel is destroying itself. Uh, in my mind, I'm Jewish. I've, I'm not a Zionist, but I'm Jewish, and it's very sad for me um, that uh, Israel was settled the way it was, mm -hmm. and now that it's behaving this way and claims to be in my name, claims to be in the name of Jews, that that big star that is graffitied on the walls of of Palestinian buildings, you know, by the soldiers mm -hmm. and the settlers, is um, very painful to me to see that. To see that they claim to be speaking in my name, in the name of Jews. And I think there are many Jews who don't know the facts. There are many who are um, who are opposed to the way the Israeli government is behaving. But there are also many who don't understand. And, um, it's very sad. What is the atmosphere in the States? Do people know about the boat? Uh, probably not very much, not yet. Um, you know, they're looking for news where people get hurt. And, mm -hmm. um, but even then, uh, no, they don't know a lot. But in New York City, I'll tell you a little story about New York City. The New York City Council passed a resolution Again, saying that boycott, divestment, and sanctions is uh, anti-Semitic and is, um, you know, is a threat to Jews everywhere, and that anybody who has any uh, objections to the way the Israeli government behaves is has got to be an anti-Semite and has got to be stopped. And so, uh, some of us who feel very um, opposed to that idea filled the city council chamber. This mm -hmm. was last Friday. Yeah, and uh, had a big press conference outside and filled the, the city council chamber and many people gave very good testimony um, about how this resolution was completely um, off base and ridiculous and didn't represent, you know, there are many Jews who gave testimony and others. So, um, you know, they, they push on one side and we push back. Sometimes we step out and they attack us. Um, that's what happens in the United States, but we don't get a lot of press.